Welcome to the Neuromatrix presentation for ulnar elbow nerve specific placement instructions. Select the appropriate ulnar elbow kit. The ulnar elbow electrodes are left and right specific. One size fits all. Follow the ulnar wrist electrode placement instructions to properly place the wrist electrode. Please note that when testing both the median and ulnar nerves, the ulnar nerve should be tested first. Now, to position the patient, have the patient place his or her arm in the elbow support provided by Neurometrics. The upper portion of the support should fit snugly under the armpit with the patient's upper arm pressed flush against the surface. The forearm should rest in relaxed position along the surface marked with a picture of a hand, palm facing up. To prepare the patient's skin, vigorously scrub the inside of the arm above, below, and under the elbow with the alcohol pumice prep pad supplied with each electrode. The prep pad is designed to cleanse and mildly abrade the skin. Cleansing is required for proper electrode contact with the skin and enhances the performance of the electrode. Allow skin to air dry for about 30 seconds. Using the back of your hand, check the patient's skin to ensure it is completely dry. A word of caution. Adhesive side of the electrode should contact the skin only once and should not be repositioned once it is applied. It is critical to determine electrode placement before removing the backing. Next. Identify the small bony protrusion on the inside of the elbow, the medical epicondyle of the humerus. Use a skin marker to mark the center of the bone. Next, use the electrode as a template to determine the correct electrode position. With the backing still on, place the central green notch around the mark on the bone. Rotate the electrode so that the solid red arrow follows the length of the arm, pointing towards the fifth digit, the pinky finger. Refer to the dotted purple line shown in the figure. To complete the skin markings for the electrode placement, place a mark at the center of the second green notch on part C of the electrode. To affix the wrist portion of the electrode, remove the backing from the electrode and hold it by the gray tabs. Align the green notches on part C of the electrode with the dots marked on the patient's arm. Press part C of the electrode firmly against the patient's skin below and underneath the elbow. Smooth part D of the electrode onto the skin above the elbow. Make sure the entire electrode is completely adhered to the skin as smooth and consistent skin contact is critical. Please check to make sure the electrode is placed correctly. Ensure that the patient's elbow is correctly positioned in the arm support. The above elbow portion of the electrode must be on the inside and slightly underneath the arm. The arm support may overlap the electrode. The electrode is incorrectly placed if the above elbow portion is on the bicep. This placement will result in a poor signal and the patient may experience discomfort. Now you are ready to connect the electrode to the proximal adapter. Connect the clip marked with a gray arrow to the gray clip of the ulnar wrist electrode. Next, connect the clip marked with the orange arrow to the orange clip of the ulnar elbow electrode. The system will now connect to the proximal adapter. Smooth the electrode and make sure it is adhered to the skin. Wait at least 30 seconds 
before proceeding with the test while the electrode stabilizes on the skin. Ensure the patient remains relaxed, still, and quiet during the test. The patient should also be instructed not to move their arm during the test. Ensure that the patient's elbow remains correctly positioned in the arm support throughout the study. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please contact us at Neurometrics Customer Service.